Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of cat and mouse going on with, uh, with certainly ourselves and Banana Vestas behind. We're all uh, yeah, putting in some pretty big runs to you, Sal. Sci-Fi is calling it a game of cat and mouse. But who's the cat and who's the mouse right now? It seems like all the teams need to be patient as they continue this race within the race to get south. And looking at the virtual eye, it's like they almost got confused. For a short while this morning, the lead three boats actually jibed, heading towards Itajai, the leg five finish, instead of the leg one finish in Cape Town. In all seriousness, this leg continues to be tricky and perhaps will be even more so from here on in. They have to dodge the South Atlantic high pressure, and that means heading south, and sometimes even west, to get around it. At this point, it's simple sailing. So the teams are getting into their routines, checking over their boats, and sailing south. The sailing may seem easy, but the mental game quite hard, as they try to figure out their best route across the Atlantic. Chris Nicholson gives us his thoughts on board Team Vestas Wind. In a short sentence, it's, uh, it's anything but clear, our passage between here and here in Cape Town. There's a lot of light patches and there's several fronts and uh, there's going to be a lot of compression and then kind of expansion of the fleet, so... Um, there's so much, so much more racing to go. We, I guess we thought it was unstable before here, but I think it could be even more unstable between here and here in Cape Town. Nico seems so nervous, so we called Team Vestas Wind and spoke with their navigator, Wouter, to give us more thoughts. That'd be a first for me. Here's Wouter. Good luck. Thank you. Well, yes, so uh, we have to deal here with two things. Uh, one is a very moody lady called uh, the St. Helena High. For four days uh, looking at uh, the high in front of us and, um, and you know, postponing the decision on when to take the, the, the hard job um, uh, to go west, uh, which is away from Cape Town. You know, we were sailing at, at times about 90 degrees to our uh, to the finish. So uh, that is something that you uh, do with only with a lot of caution. And uh, but you have to take the decision. And this morning there was no hiding from the snakes and ladders anymore. We had to go west. Um, yeah. Well, we we still. Uh, you know, apprehensive would be the right word, I would say. There's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, there's a good chance that the fleet is all going to be compressed together with the guys behind us uh, coming quite close to us again. And um, our focus is now on uh, just the, the next hours ahead and the next shift. We've already done uh, at least six jibes today and, uh, and we'll be continuing continue to focus on that. What's the next shift? Where's the next game? It's tough going mentally on board, no question. And the leg's going to run long, so some of the teams are running low on food and fuel. I think we're going to hear a lot more about that in the next couple days. See you tomorrow. Oh, glamour sailing conditions. Absolutely great. Good, good wind. Fast sailing. Warm. Not too wet on deck. You can't really, can't really ask for better. So. Yeah, the sailing's really enjoyable.